Okay, hello and welcome. This is just a quick video about the almost uh, hexadecimal full adder I built. And the reason this is an almost is because it doesn't have a carry in, but it does have a carry out. So uh, this blue right here is the carry out. Uh, this torch will turn on uh, if, uh, if it has a carry. Uh, this is the sum, uh, this lime green right here. So uh, these are the two inputs I have here. Um, which I will just because why not I'll give those a color as well I'll just make them cyan let me do that quick and so uh, yeah these are these are the two inputs that we're adding um, so I can show you if we go ahead and throw a signal strength of one and so you can see at the top of the screen I have Wayla installed to make my life easier and yours as well uh, so you can see that it tells us that the signal strength is one and of course the other one is zero. So we're just adding one and zero. And so you can see there's no carry and the sum is one. And I can of course add one to one and this will not surprisingly be two. Uh, so let's bump this up to something a little bit more interesting. So let's see where about here maybe. Yeah, okay, so we have seven there and I think this is eight. Yeah, so we're adding seven and eight. Uh, and 7 and 8 is 15, um, and again, no carry, uh, as it should be. But if we add 8 and 8, so let me bump this up, 8 and 8, of course, equals 16, so we need to carry over because the signal strength can only go up to 15. Um, so, uh, so we carry one over, and this, the sum, is now 0 because we carried over the the... 16 to here and so this is now 0. Now if we add 8 and 9 uh, carry is still on of course and now there's a signal strength of 1 here and so so on and so forth I can add uh, let's see what is this, this is 13 and uh, 12 so that should be 25 and so if we take away the 16 from 25 we should have a signal strength of 9 and indeed there's a signal strength of 9 and lastly I'll just do 15 plus 15 and so we should carry over 16 to here and we should have 14 left over here uh, and then this like I said this is missing a carry which I will work on add making a version that has carryover but um, I'll, I'm, I'm not gonna I can't be bothered to show you how to actually build this because um, I don't really want to go through this whole thing again myself so I'll try to give it just a good fly around so you can see it and if you are so inclined to build one of these then uh, you can reverse engineer it yourself um, but I can show you a much more simplified way of figuring out what's going on so basically um, <clears throat> in terms of subtractions since that's all we can do with comparators uh, what it's doing is there's a half adder so basically this just gives us the sum of the two and if the sum happens to be greater than 15 it's just gonna output 15 it it's just clamped between 0 and 15 so you do 15 minus input a and then you take that value and you do that value minus input B and then you take that value and you do 15 minus uh, that to get your sum and then uh, <clears throat> to get the remainder, uh, uh, should there should it be necessary to do a, a carryover, this will give you basically the sum uh, with 16 subtracted from it. So basically, you're, you're just doing the sum minus 16 is what this whole thing outputs. And I've called that R down here. So you do 15 minus input A, uh, and then you do input B minus that value, and then you do that value minus 1 and then that gives you what the remainder to be and to and then you just have to tell when to output this sum or that sum in other words when to tell whether the sum is 16 or greater because if the sum is 16 or greater then this is what you want to be outputting as your sum but if it's less than 16 you want to be outputting this and also if it's 16 or greater we also want to turn on the carry out and so this circuit <coughs> You're doing 15 minus A, uh, and then you take uh, B and you subtract that value. And so what this does is 
if a if you should be carrying over then um, this circuit will uh, put out a non-zero value otherwise it just outputs zero so if it is if this circuit is outputting zero this is the sum you want to be outputting if this circuit is giving you something non-zero um, so anything 1 through 15 then you want to be outputting this and that's basically what this whole thing is doing here so uh, I basically need to rework all of this but with the carry in factored in um, and I will try to get that done as soon as possible uh, but yeah so this is the current version of the circuit